overview of packaging in food industry. Demand for packaged foods in the markets is growing due to increased consumption of goods like potato chips and potato based products, biscuits, beverages, medicines, etc. Different types of packaging are used for different products. Let us take a look at some of the food products and their packaging materials. Milk and milk products. These products are packaged in glass bottles, LDPE lined cartons, tetrahedron packs, hermetically sealed containers and polystyrene tubs. Fruits and vegetables. These products are packaged in loosely woven gunny bags, wooden or plastic crates, lined or unlined corrugated fiberboard boxes, net bags and bamboo baskets, juices, jams, jellies and marmalades to be packed in glass bottles. Meat, fish and poultry products. These products require polyethylene sheets of bags, PET or LDPE wrapping materials, tin plate containers, insulated containers made of wood, plastic, thermocol or fiberglass. Bakery and confectionery products. Bakery products like bread, biscuits, cakes, cookies, candies, etc. require LDPE coated poster paper greaseproof or sulfate paper, cellulose film or aluminum foil, tin plate containers and waxed paper. Oils and fats. For packaging oil products, tin plate containers, glass bottles, rigid plastic containers of HDPE, food grade PVC, PET and flexible pouches made of plastic film or foil or laminate are used. Food grains and food grain products, jute bags, LDPE coated jute bags, raffia bags, A12 or B12 jute bags are used for food grain packaging. Sugar and honey, sugar is packed in Hessian bags, coated raffia bags, Cartons lined with LDPE. Honey is packed in wide mouth containers of glass or tin plate lidded with non corrosive caps or cork washers. Stimulant foods. Stimulant foods like tea, coffee require packaging materials that retain freshness. Hence, these are packed in glass bottles, flexible packaging materials, or laminates such as LDPE, paper coated LDPE, PET or LDPE and BOPP or LDPE. Alcoholic drinks and carbonated beverages, glass bottles, cans, plastic containers, dispensing units are used to package these products. Spices and condiments Spices like chilies, pepper are packed in jute bags or pouches made from PET or EVA or BOPP or EVA. Airtight PET or LDPE containers, suitably lined wooden cases, etc. Categories of Packaging In the food industry, packaging is categorized into three types. Primary Package it is the one which is in direct contact with the product. It provides the initial and the major protective barrier. Example, metal cans, glass or plastic bottles, plastic pouches, beverage cans, tetra packs. Secondary package. It is outside the primary packaging and is used to group primary packages together. It is a physical distribution carrier and used for display of primary packaging in outlets. Examples corrugated cases, boxes. 
tertiary package. It contains a number of secondary packages. It is used for bulk handling. Example, a stretch wrap pallet of corrugated cases. Equipment used in the packaging process. Let us now take a look at the various equipment used in the packaging process. Automatic form fill seal machine. These machines come in two variations. Vertical form fill seal, VFFS, and horizontal form fill seal, HFFS machines. In both cases, packaging material is fed off a roll, shaped and sealed. The bags or packs are then filled, sealed and separated. Pillow packs, bottles or vials, cartons, pots, trays and blisters, sachets, sacks and bags are some of the types of packaging done on these machines. Powder packing machine this machine is specially designed for packaging of powders such as custard powder, spices, detergent, talcum powder, coffee powder, mehendi, distemper, hair color and other substances which are non-free flowing powder. Bottle filling machine. This machine used for mineral water, milk juices, anything liquid. The capping or crowning is to be done automatically. Paste filling machine. Paste filling machines are utilized in the packaging of sauces, purees, honey and other paste products. Multi-track machine. Multi-track machines are utilized in the packaging of sachets, pouches, etc. Wrapping machines. Wrapping machines wrap a flexible packaging material, example, paper, aluminium, plastic film, around a product or group of products. Laminated packaging machines. Bucket conveyor packaging machines. Continuous sealing machines. They perform sealing operation of pouches on basis of heat sealing process. They find their application for packaging detergent powder, tea, namkeen, rice, pulses and other materials in pre-made pouches. Labeling machines. Labeling machines apply labels and decoration onto all types of packaging containers, display point of sale and transit packs. There are two principal types of labeling machine, wet glue and pressure sensitive self adhesive applicators sleevers or sleeving equipment sleevers or sleeving equipment apply a sleeve of thermoformable or stretch material to the neck or body of the container pallet loading and pallet securing machines these are packaging machines that assemble or dismantle pallet loads of products groups of packages or rigid containers on a pallet with little or no manual intervention and secure the load on the pallet for security and stability during transportation. Execution of Packaging Process The steps involved in packaging process are given below. Feed the product to be packed. Feed the packaging material. Position the filling for packaging and set the conveyor line. Pack or fill the product into the packaging material. Remove packaged product. Check weight. Adjust controls if required. Clean surface and apply label. Inspect the packaged product as per standards. Send the packaged product for storing or dispatch. The steps involved in packaging process
Packaging and Storage of Finished Product For packaging of finished baked products, a method called Modified Atmosphere Packaging MAP, is used. The gases used in the method are carbon dioxide and nitrogen that increase the shelf life of the products. The materials used to contain, protect and handle the delivery and preservation of finished goods from the manufacturer to the user is called packaging material. Materials used for packing baked products are selected if they protect from foreign odor, contamination, heat and moisture, protect from mechanical damage, help in easy handling of products, are easy to carry, increase or maintain products shelf life, follow legal compliance for values and ingredients for consumers. Packaging is basically categorized into primary packaging and secondary packaging. Primary packaging, it is the packaging that comes in direct contact with the product. Wax coated or laminated BOP film paper is used. Example, bread and bun packaging is generally made of a base coated paraffin wax. Secondary packaging. It is the packaging that is used for transportation, warehouse storage, handling, cardboard boxes, CBB made of craft papers, tins are used often. Example, plastic crates that contain breads and buns. Storage of finished products. When storing finished products, some common methods are followed. Bakery items which may contain perishable ingredients like cream, cheese or eggs must be kept under refrigeration. Products that may have a longer shelf life can be stored at room temperature. All finished products are stored with labels of its ingredients and shelf life. Stock rotation methods like FIFO and FEFO is used to rotate finished products. FIFO, first in, first out, is a stock rotation system that dispatches processed food depending on the order in which it is produced. FEFO, first expired, first out, is a stock rotation system wherein products that need to be consumed earlier are shipped first. Roles and Responsibilities of Food Products Packaging Technician Let us now take a look at the roles and responsibilities of Food Products Packaging Technician. Handle packaging material from storage to the process line. Check material for quality. Ensure the materials are sound and free from dirt, debris, foreign matter, glass and insects. Ensure minimum loss of material. Record keeping and documentation. Document and maintain records of materials. Document and maintain records of production schedule and process. Document and maintain records of finished products. Maintenance of hygiene and sanitation. Adopt safety and sanitation related measures. Follow food safety norms and practices. Inspect machines and troubleshoot issues or escalate them to the supervisor. Ensure smooth operation of machinery to complete packaging. Optimize the use of machinery. Attend to minor repairs of tools and machinery when required. Ensure that safety rules and regulations are observed. Prevent accidents. Plan and execute packaging process. Examine products at different stages of packaging. Adhere to good manufacturing practice, GMP. Ensure the products meet the quality standards set by the organization. Inspect intermediate as well as finished products. Ensure conformance of quality as per organizational standards. Follow storage packaging norms. 
ensure safe and proper storage of packaging material. Let us now summarize the roles and responsibilities of food products packaging technician.